Hey guys, it's Keon, and today I'm going to be talking about Gegard Mousasi, who is the current middleweight champion in Bellator. And he is someone a lot of people are speaking about in regards to his greatness, first of all, because look, this guy has a record of 49 wins, 7 defeats, and 2 draws. That's a very impressive record, and I get that not all of his opponents were top tier, but a majority of them were he has defeated some big names in this sport. And after his most recent title defense against Austin Vanderford, many people are wondering how well Gegard would do if he was in the UFC. If he was still in the UFC, because the last time he fought with the promotion was back in April of 2017 at UFC 210. And I wish the promotion kept him because he is not only a very good fighter, but also an entertaining character. If you've seen his interviews with Ariel Helwani, you you would know. But since signing with Bellator, he has gone 7 and 1 and in the process has captured the Bellator Middleweight World Championship twice. And he is currently on his second title defense on his second run. So even after all these years, Gegard at 36 years of age is showing no signs of slowing down. In fact, even before his fight with Austin Vanderford, he was the greatest middleweight in the world at the moment. And after that 85 second win against Austin Vanderford, Vanderford, who was undefeated going into this fight, the hype on Gegard is at an all-time high. So if he was still with the UFC today, how well would Gegard Mousasi do? And I'm looking at the top 15 UFC middleweight rankings right now, and honestly, I think Gegard beats most of the fighters from 6 to 15. Now if we look at the top 5, we have Robert Whitaker, Jared Cannonier, Marvin Vittori, Sean Strickland, and Derek Brunson, and Paulo Costa. They're all tied for number 4. And personally, I think Gegard beats most of them. I think his toughest test in the top 5 would be against Robert Whitaker, and that would definitely be a matchup that I would like to see, because they're both skilled anywhere the fight goes. So personally, I think Gegard can compete with the current top 5 in the UFC middleweight division. But how about Israel Adesanya? How would Gegard do in a matchup against the champion? And to me, it depends. Because although Gegard said that he felt like the best middleweight in the world the night he fought Austin Vanderford, he was clear that it was that night and that may not last forever. And maybe he's right because he is 36 years old, so his best days may be coming to an end. Maybe he's only looking so good because he's competing against the middleweights in Bellator. Because let's be for real, the top 10 in Bellator's 185 pound division is not the greatest. And I don't want to take anything away from these fighters, but if you compare this top 10 to the UFC's middleweight top 10, it's very night and day. So that's why I question if Gegard was to go to the UFC now, would he still have enough to compete with the best in the UFC? Or by the time he does resign with them, would it be too little too late? And like I said, I do believe that today he can be a threat in the UFC's 185 pound division. But do I think he can become the champion in a fight against Israel Adesanya? Personally, I don't think he can. Although stylistically he can give Israel some problems, I think in the end Israel would be able to defend his takedowns well and pick him apart on the feet. Plus, Israel has a lot of momentum behind him right now. People don't see this guy losing anytime soon. And that's why we're having this conversation of if if Gegard would have a chance to beat Israel at 185. And yeah, it all depends on which Gegard shows up in the fight. Will he be the Gegard who destroyed Austin Vanderford? Because if that's the case, that's a Gegard who was very confident in himself. And if he brings that confidence in the fight against Israel Adesanya, then for sure I can see him defeat him. But I personally think the Gegard who fought Austin Vanderford won't be here for any longer. And that's just due to age. What would you think? How well well would Gegard do in the UFC? And how do you see a fight with him and Israel Adesanya playing out? But that's a lot for now, so I'll see you in my next one.